It's been 10 years since the Texas Tech men's basketball program has won a regular season home finale. I'm Marshall Hughes alongside Whitney Harding here at a now quiet United Spirit Arena. That's right, Marshall. It's amazing that it is quiet. The Red Raiders actually this afternoon won their fourth straight game in front of a crowd of 10,000 or more fans. And that's the first time that's happened since 2008. It's been a while. And this atmosphere here at the arena, it's been unlike any other in Lubbock in a long time. And it's because of Tubby Smith, the head coach for the Texas Tech program, and four seniors who are ready to make a change. I was just telling the team, especially the second half, I was like, we only have 20 minutes, especially the seniors. 20 minutes left in this gym, like, and that's, that's, you just got to give your all. And I had confidence with the shots, and they were just falling for me. Four different coaches in four years. That can be hard on a program. It can be even harder on a player like Jay Crockett. He could have left Texas Tech, transferred out to play for another team, but Crockett stayed put in Lubbock. No one deserves him more than, than Jay Crockett. You know, he's put in a lot of hours on this court, a lot of time, he spent a lot of time in this arena, and um, I'm just, I'm just happy and proud that I had the good fortune to coach him. Crockett, already a member of the university's 1,000-point club, adding a game-high 22 this afternoon in his final game at home, a 59-53 win over Texas. Well, the only way it could be better if it was A&M and they're not in a conference anymore. But, I mean, it's great. That's, that's where you want to play if you're at Tech. You want to beat those Longhorns, so it's great. Crockett's patience to go along with the classic coaching style of Tubby Smith might not have the Red Raiders in the national tournament just yet, but they have been able to create more buzz surrounding basketball in Lubbock than ever before. Well, it's, it's been exciting, and that's what part of the college experience for uh, your students to come and support your athletic programs and the energy, the excitement that they bring to a game. You can't replicate that any other way, and they've created the atmosphere, and the team feeds off that, and it's been a big part of the success that we've experienced this year. We're just lucky to be on a part of this team. Uh, I hope it don't stop here. I hope we just keep on and continue to move forward. Tech knew they would be a ninth seed heading into the Big 12 championships coming up this next week, but it wasn't until today who they found out who they're going to be playing. And it's going to be exciting as this matchup has been this year. Lots of drama. Oklahoma State, Texas oh. Tech, round three. I mean, they split the series during the season on this very court. Probably the most dramatic scene we've seen in college hoops this year. So sure. up for grabs completely. Yeah, we'll see how Marcus Smart reacts with Jay Crockett and yeah. the rest of the Red Raiders. That game's going to be set for March 12th in Kansas City at the Sprint Center. For Whitney Harding, I'm Marshall Hughes in Lubbock. Back to you.